Hello, and welcome to another video from the URI Physics Department. Today we're going to be talking about the measurement of Earth's magnetic field. Earth's mag magnetic field varies in both magnitude and direction and depends on location. Here in Kingston, Rhode Island, the magnitude of Earth's magnetic field is approximately 52,000 nano tesla. The direction of Earth's magnetic field is not horizontal, except near the equator. Here in the northern hemisphere, the field has a downward vertical component and a horizontal component that points towards the magnetic north pole. In Kingston, the Earth's magnetic field has an inclination or dip of approximately 67 degrees below the horizontal. In this lab, you will be measuring the horizontal component of Earth's magnetic field and using that dip angle to calculate the total magnitude of magnetic field. This will be done by creating a second magnetic field and orientating it so it is perpendicular to the horizontal component of Earth's field. If a compass is held horizontally, its needle will point in the direction of the horizontal component or due north. When this second field has a strength equal to the horizontal component of the Earth's field, it will point at a 45 degree angle to each field. The second field will be created by circular coils of wire. The, the magnetic field at the center of the coils is perpendicular to the plane of the coil and has a strength given by the magnetic field equation. To conduct this experiment, we're going to need a few uh, pieces of equipment. Here we have a power supply connected in series with an ammeter and a magnetic coil. There is a compass at the center of the coil. Now we'll see how changing the current in the, in the coils will affect the magnetic field on, that the compass reads. Here I have uh, another camera set up on, on this compass so you'll be able to see the, the reaction of the compass needle. I'm going to turn my power supply on and I'm going to increase the current going through the coils. And as you can see, as I change that current, that affects the direction the, the compass is pointing. So this lab is broken up into two parts. The first part is to adjust the current and get a 45 degree angle in one direction. And then we're going to reverse direction of the current to get a 45 degree angle in the other direction. After we find the two current values corresponding to the 45 degree angles, we can take the average current to calculate the horizontal component of Earth's magnetic field, which we can then use to find the magnitude of the magnetic field.